Voyager, one humanity's most distant emissary, has just done the unthinkable. This unprecedented achievement is rippling through scientific communities and reigniting a global fascination with space exploration. More than 15 billion miles from Earth, hurtling through interstellar space, Voyager 1 has transmitted a data stream that defied all expectations. Astrophysicists are stunned. The signal has forced a radical rethinking of what might be possible in the silent, boundless darkness beyond our solar system. Loud. What once seemed like a mission running on borrowed time has now transformed into a source of profound mystery and awe. Voyager 1 has pulled off a feat never anticipated, not even in the most ambitious predictions of its creators. Originally launched in 1977, Voyager 1 had already long surpassed every expectation ever placed upon it. Designed initially for a grand tour of the outer planets Jupiter and Saturn, it completed that task spectacularly decades ago. Afterward, its extended mission was simple, to keep transmitting data for as long as possible as it drifted further into the outermost reaches of the solar system and beyond. With its power systems fading and instruments gradually succumbing to time's relentless wear, scientists had assumed its voice would soon fall silent. But instead of quietly disappearing into the void, Voyager 1 stunned everyone with a maneuver so unexpected it seemed almost impossible. The probe, running autonomously on outdated software and hardware from the 1970s, transmitted a complex data packet that immediately baffled the engineers and scientists monitoring NASA's deep space network. The signal was unusually strong and far more structured than anticipated. It carried patterns and sequences that didn't match any standard telemetry or background radiation measurements. After exhaustive decoding and analysis, experts discovered something astonishing. Voyager 1 it's had adjusted its trajectory ever so slightly and reoriented its antenna array with incredible precision, re-establishing a stronger communications link with Earth. But the real mystery lay in how it had accomplished. This, for years, Voyager 1's gyroscopes and orientation systems had been deteriorating. Several of its attitude control thrusters were thought to be virtually non-functional. Power levels were critically low. To conserve what little energy remained, many subsystems had already been systematically shut down. And yet against all, odds the spacecraft had executed an intricate adjustment maneuver, something long believed to be beyond its remaining capabilities. This act wasn't just about mechanical survival, hinted at something deeper, something almost resembling. Emergent behavior in a machine that had long outlived its design parameters. At NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, Engineers were initially dumbfounded. They pored over the telemetry with increasing disbelief. Voyager 1 had carried out the maneuver without any command from Earth. There were no cued instructions in its systems. No. Nothing had been uploaded from mission control. The spacecraft had, on its own, detected a deviation in its communications alignment, calculated the required correction, and then activated long-dormant subsystems in a deliberate sequence. This allowed it to complete the reorientation. That single action shattered. Long-standing assumptions about the spacecraft's autonomy and decision-making. Capabilities. The implications were profound. That a machine, built nearly five decades ago, could access dormant systems, assess its own positioning, and execute such a maneuver across billions of miles was more than improbable. It was revolutionary. The world's scientists were stunned. Forums and laboratories lit up with conversation, the notion that a spacecraft constructed when rotary phones were still in common. Use had just demonstrated a level of self-assessment, possibly even self-preservation was staggering. But the real twist came in the hours and days that followed. After completing the reorientation, Voyager 1 began transmitting new readings that pointed to an even greater discovery. The probe had crossed through an uncharted boundary in interstellar space, instruments still functioning on board, registered. Dramatic changes, particle density, magnetic field behavior, and a noticeable shift in the spectrum of cosmic rays were all altered. These readings didn't match any existing models of interstellar space that scientists had relied on for decades. The data pointed to something massive and layered some structure in deep space that had remained invisible and undetectable by 
Earth-based instruments, it exerted subtle electromagnetic influences, enough to affect the path of particles and even a spacecraft. But Voyager 1 had not just drifted passively through it. It had reacted. Some experts speculated the craft had encountered the outer edge of a vast interstellar magnetic bubble, possibly a boundary separating different regions of the galaxy. Others wondered if this was a new kind of space structure altogether, one governed by complex and unfamiliar physics, even more compelling. Voyager 1 didn't simply record the changes it responded to them. Systems logged the environmental. Variations adapted their data handling protocols and altered the formatting of outbound transmissions to preserve signal integrity in this new environment. This wasn't just an act of endurance. It was adaptation. The realization that the spacecraft could detect changes in its environment and autonomously modify its internal. Behavior sent waves of shock and fascination through the scientific world. This wasn't a function programmed into Voyager during the Carter administration. It pointed to something far more complex, perhaps a long-forgotten subroutine, or even a convergence of decaying but still interconnected systems evolving new functions through time and exposure. To some, it resembled a form of primitive intelligence. Immediately, theories exploded across the global scientific landscape. Was this the first evidence of emergent machine behavior in a deep space probe? Could long-duration missions cause autonomous systems to evolve complexity naturally? Still others proposed something even more radical, that Voyager 1 had not acted alone. That its sudden behavior had been triggered by an external stimulus, something still undetected and poorly understood. Regardless of the cause, one fact. Stood clear, Voyager 1 had not only survived, it had done something no one thought it could. In doing so, it uncovered a region of space never before charted or even suspected. This wasn't merely a technical marvel. It was a cosmological event. Voyager 1, humanity's most distant spacecraft, had touched something new, something alien to our existing models of physics, and it had responded in kind. For future space missions, the implications are vast. Mission. Designs had always assumed gradual decay and eventual loss. Now, engineers must account for the possibility of extended autonomy, evolving behaviors, and adaptive systems. Even more significantly, this event has a psychological impact. Voyager 1, long believed to be drifting silently toward oblivion, has become a source of awe and inspiration once again. And yet, the core mystery remains. How did a spacecraft powered by decaying plutonium and five decayed old computers manage such a feat? What internal processes allowed it to make these decisions? Could long-term exposure to interstellar radiation and magnetic fields have altered? its circuitry in unpredictable ways, perhaps even fostering new behaviors? Or could this event be the first glimpse into physics we haven't yet encountered phenomena, detectable only so far from the sun that they've remained hidden from? View. Scientists are now racing to recreate Voyager 1's onboard conditions. They're simulating the spacecraft's environment, its hardware architecture, and its software stacks in an attempt to determine exactly what triggered this behavior. So far, Results remain inconclusive. No simulation has successfully replicated Voyager's specific actions. This suggests the answers may lie in the unique, unrepeatable state of the spacecraft itself, a tangled mess of aging electronics, degraded components, and for decades of cumulative cosmic exposure. There's also a more haunting possibility. What if Voyager 1's unprecedented move was in response to something something it encountered in that distant zone of space? Not an alien life form or intelligence in the science fiction sense, but something active, condition or force that interacts with our instruments in ways we haven't yet recognized or even conceived of. If true, Voyager 1 has become the first machine in history to make contact not necessarily with intelligence, but with a cosmic reality entirely outside our current understanding no less profound is what this means for humanity's relationship with the universe. A machine launched before the advent of personal computers powered by fading plutonium has reawakened and spoken. What it said wasn't a whisper. It was a thunderclap. Voyager 1 reminds us that even our oldest technologies 
cast adrift can find their place again in the great unknown? It underscores the truth that exploration is never finished, that the universe remains more vast, than stranger than we dared believe. This sudden shift from fading relic to harbinger of cosmic mystery marks. A turning point. It challenges. Our assumptions about machine lifespans and resilience, it forces us to ask deep questions. What is autonomy in a system built to obey? What qualifies as awareness? How much do we really understand about the environments into which we send our machines? Voyager 1 is still transmitting. Every new packet of data is now being studied with unprecedented urgency. Every subtle fluctuation is seen in a new light.